Hello everyone, my name is Sally Bayment. I am Vice President of Marketing at Juniper Networks. Top predictions for 2022. Um, well, if I were to pick my, let's say, top three, um, this is probably what they would be. Number one, Metro Networks will begin this much needed transformation and will play a much, much more critical role in helping service providers deliver profitable, innovative and new services. Um, it, it is the place or is becoming the place where network connectivity, hosting efficiency and service personalization and service experience really, really do converge. And we'll see network operators move away from the traditional siloed architectures of the past to refresh designs focused more on service experience, coupling IP connectivity um, with hosted elements and hosted content along with uh, security and obviously automation as well. Um, secondly, uh, number two, we're gonna see hyperscalers and service providers really continue to refine their relationships. Um, obviously, co-opetition between the cloud hyperscalers and service providers reached a whole new level uh, in 2021, particularly with Microsoft's acquisition of AT&T's network cloud and then AT&T moving their 5G mobile network um, to Azure. But it won't be about one-offs and experimentation anymore. I mean, we all know hyperscalers are all in on, type, um, on telco, but to level that playing field and really even tip the balance a little bit of power and control, we'll see service providers learn, adapt and evolve their cloud capabilities to develop their own unique solutions that take advantage of their vast network real estate advantage. You know, surely they're gonna partner and they will need to partner, but we'll also see them employ a dual strategy of partner and build, developing their own in-house cloud native platforms and their expertise, um, really to maintain control while also, you know, developing balanced and symbiotic relationships with the hyperscalers. Um, to achieve both near-term as well as long-term success. And then thirdly, Open RAN. You know, we're going to see Open RAN continue its march forward. The industry has seen major strides this past year, um, but we're going to see it become much more uh, focused on the ecosystem play. Um, next year, we expect to see new ecosystem, vendor ecosystems emerge. And we'll see existing ones expand to include more vendors. And we'll see vendors sort of hedging their bets and participating in multiple of these ecosystems. But from an operator perspective, we'll see them define their own strategies, invest in open RAN initiatives, and we'll also see the move from lab trials to the field and to early use cases, um, particularly the tier one service providers. Um, so uh, those would be my top three predictions uh, for 2022 and Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you.